Hey, welcome back to Dweller Studios. I'm, it's getting late again, so I'm going to have to be kind of quiet. But, uh, I got the shields put on these little holders, and I'm going to start painting them. And then I'll put on the transfers. And do all that. I still got to varnish the guys, but they're pretty much done. I mean, you saw the pictures at the end of the last video if you watched it. I completely lost my mind there. Uh, I just need to sleep. I got sleep now. I'm a little better. But while editing the last video, I deleted two videos that I never put out, which was the Carthaginian guy putting the sand down on the base, which is not a really big deal, but it sucks. And painting the saddle on the horse, the black saddle on the horse. Unless I can figure out how to get those back, they're gone. So. I just can't. This weekend, my days off have just been a nightmare. Ever since that gold started pouring out of that paint bottle, nothing's gone right. But we're going to keep at it, keep slugging away at it, and hopefully everything will go good from here. I mean, things happen. You see little ants crawling around down here? I'm right next to the door. It's springtime's coming. They start coming in this damn door. I try to get rid of them. They keep coming back. Just ants. I mean, I don't want them getting in my paint, obviously, but they're ants. Freaking hard to get rid of. At least they're not cockroaches or something. <laughs> anyway, that's that. I just thought I'd address that since they are crawling around here. I got one right here. My damn water. <sighs> Whatever. Um. Okay, let's get going on these shields. Uh, I'm going to put oak brown on the back of them to start with. I already primed them, so did that off camera. Recording, we are green. I did it. Get a little brown on there. the whole back brown and there's little metal parts I'll have to paint and let it dry. I'm going to do a lot of turning off and on of the camera probably. This is just a lot of little stuff. i got to wait for paint to dry. Going on this. Paint the whole back black brown or yeah, not black brown. I'm not using my paint colors. Still using the mega paints here. I don't want oak brown. Normally I do black brown, but this will work just as good. Oak brown. Or the shield's really not going to get seen a whole lot, anyways. I like these little holders that I've got going here a lot better than putting it on that gummy crap because it leaves a residue on the back sometimes. And that residue is a doo-doo. Really hard to get off of there. Sure, I got it all covered here. Do the next one. Put that down and 
dial in the next one. Really just like their helmets. They got a lot of ups and downs, little ridges, metal parts. Shields are pretty torn up too. It's pretty cool. They're ragged and torn. Pretty cool little guys. All the, all around. Like how they're battle worn. Like most of them aren't battle worn. You seem to get. These guys are definitely veteran war now dudes. They're on the road, fighting, killing. Not taking a bath for ever. Smelling like a goat's butthole. That kind of thing, if you know what I mean. Oh, would they smell like a goat's butthole? Uh, hmm. We'll never know. We'll never know. We want to know? No, we don't. Probably don't want to know. Yeah, I kind of deleted a whole lot of crap on my computer that I shouldn't have. That wasn't very bright. I just had a rough go of it. A lot of it's my fault, though. My own stupidity. That's all. Okay. That's that. I mean, that's really all I'm going to do for now. While that paint dries. What else can I do? Not much. I should varnish these guys, but I think I'll let them just dry for as long as I can with that paint set. I'm going to start putting varnish on. Sometimes it wants to tear paint off. Especially red and metals that you just barely, you know, just highlight with metal it sometimes wants to pull it off. Maybe it's my new bass that it does it too, but still it does it from time to time. Okay, I'll be back when the ground is dry. I'm gonna start putting on some of the red while that ground's drying. Uh, we'll put red on the front. Shouldn't hurt anything.
Um, I have to be too careful because I'm just going to go on right back over it with the uh, transfer and the edges will be, I think I'm going to use weapon bronze on this one, on the shield edges. Maybe the boss. I think I might do the boss silver, the plate mail metal. Edges bronzed. But I go back over it at least one more time though, make sure we got it somewhat sealed in because so it's going to show through the transfer a little bit. Adds color to the transfer, I believe, on the Warlord ones. So where's the other one? I think. Brown is probably dry, so we can bust out the silver for the other side. And, uh, we'll paint the back side and paint the metal on the back. Meter meter, not kilometer. Okay, let's see These are almost as bad as those Victrix. Uh, Hoplite shields, they got all kinds of stuff on the back of them. Usually the shields don't have this much stuff. They're just simple. I mean, I guess it's not bad. I don't mean bad in a bad way. I mean bad as in just there's a lot more to do. A little more complicated than your typical shield. mess I made there. It cleans up real easy. I like that. A lot of fussing about. Just cleans right off.
Okay. Let's do that. Metal back there. Basically, I just cut a sprue off. A little point on that end and stuck it in where that other hand goes. And a little bit of plastic glue. Holds on pretty good. I can get all around it. And I can just take it off. It doesn't hold too tight to where it's going to ruin it or anything. Just pop it off and glue it on the dude. Works out pretty good. But hitting these metal bars is not the easiest thing. Like doing the straps on a warrior. Really gotta be careful. Here and go put these videos. I can't let it go too long on my phone or I'll run out of memory. Every time I gotta go put it on my computer. And start saving in my memory card, but last time I did that it didn't work. Trying to stick to things that have been working. I'm tired of problems. I do keep trying too many other things that fail. Eventually I'll be better at this. Hopefully. The automatic. Okay, I think we're good on that one. I think we'll do the boss on the front real quick. Then I'm going to turn it off, go put these videos on the computer so they're not going to get lost or stop recording. Come back and continue on. It is boss. Boss Bruce Stingstein's on here. Get Bruce painted up. The boss.
Okay, there's one boss done. We'll head up here and get this saved and put away. I don't know what's already on there. Luck I've had lately, I shouldn't be risking anything. Stop it there. Then I'm gonna put these videos on my computer and save them. And we'll continue on. I'll be back. Okay, welcome back. We are gonna do a little more red on the front of these shields. I already got the paint still wet from last time. That's the good news. I just don't have to put any new stuff out. Gonna put a little water in it. Mix it up and put it on. Not to hit the boss. Covering that with bronze. Red kind of reminds me of the red chimera. And it has a little bit of blackish tint to it after. I don't know what it is. It's weird. It's good red though. I like it. Birdie. There's one. Okay, a little more water in there. It's kind of chunky. Be smooth, smooth as ice, smooth as the butter. Let's, let's, let's get the boss out of the stuff. Come off the damn glue on the stick. It doesn't fall off here. My luck, <laughs> it probably will. I had them on there pretty good. Uh, what do we want to do? I don't think I need to do anything on the back anymore. I think we're good on the back. Hmm, no 
a little bit of silver where I don't want it, but I think when I put a wash on, it'll cover that up. Um, and come back when the red is uh, dry. We'll be back. All right, let's put on some weapon bronze around the edge of that shield. Then I think we'll be ready for the ball, or not the balls, I got the balls on my brain. Uh, transfer. Water slides. I did paint a little bit of the crusty where the shield broke off. There's wood showing through. I did that off camera. It's like barely anything. It's not worth wasting time on filming. At least this isn't oozing out like it was before. Good. A little bit of water in there to make it glide a little bit better. Even though this stuff does seem to glide pretty well. So. See how it is? If I need a little more water or something, I'll put it in there. Hopefully we can get this dialed in. We are good. Okay, let's go. Not much of an edge to that. Really narrow. Some sides are really narrow and some are beefy. I like, well, oh, never mind. Never mind. Enough paint there. More out. Definitely have to get some more out. Let's hope I have enough for at least this shield. That's why I put so little. That does go a long way, but not that far. That looks awesome. A little more on the very edge. Make sure you got it. Easy part. Front part's hard to get. This part's easy. Slide it right along there. Some people, it's probably all easy, but me, no. Not necessarily. That looks awesome. Hopefully you can see that there. Let's get a little more of that out here. Wait, 
Breathe, breathe, breathe. Just breathe, man. I remember this color being dark but for some reason. For some reason, it's not. It's not dark. Shine's really good. I like it. Awesome. These new metals are real pretty. They really look metally. That makes any sense. Chilek. Look at Chilek as a mother. Beautiful. Just beautiful. Love that. Bronze with that red is gorgeous. So gorgeous. Like it. For the better. Oh yeah, it's looking good. Oh man, it's looking good, dude. We are ready for water sliding. Yeah. It's really frustrating. Maybe, maybe easy. We shall see. I gotta make sure the table's nice and dry though, first of all, because I've had issues with dropping it right in the water. That gets ugly. I'm gonna try a new method, but I saw that seventh sun guy idea. He's really good at doing it. Puts it on a paper towel. I usually put it in a little dish. You got this little dish with a paper towel. I mean, it's pretty much the same thing. I guess I can just get that wet. It's not as wet as I usually do. I usually get it soaked. It's just wet enough. I'm going to cut out the transfers. 
uh, get those prepped. I got the prep stuff, the set and whatever that everybody uses. Um, get all dialed in and ready, and then come back and rock this out. I'm almost done with these dudes. I'll put a wash on probably after that, and it'll be all about putting the shields on, varnishing, and then I'll do a basing video separately. All right, I'll be back when I'm ready for the turn. Okay, I think we're all set here. We're going to give this a shot. I got everything prepared here. I got these ready to go. I don't know if I'm going to try to just dump them on off the paper. I think I'll try off the paper because that's the way I usually do it. I don't know. I can't get it to move. The guy on the video just dumps them on there. Try that. Shit makes me nervous. And again, we're on that boss perfectly. Is not easy. Jesus. That's pretty good if I can just get straight. Oh my god, dude. Who's coming off the back on the handle again? But I think I got it on there good. I'll let that dry and then I'll put some of that micro set or whatever it is. One done. That wasn't the easiest damn thing on the planet, that's for sure. And this next one. Same thing. There's got to be an easier way to do this shit. It's weird, the gap that's torn out of the shield still has a plastic sheet over it. It's just clear. Strange. Okay, we'll let those dry and then we'll hit them with... I might just hit it now. They're pretty dry already. At least this one is. Make sure it's down good enough to some of this micro set or whatever it is on there. Do that. Microsol. Supposed to pretty much soften up. Don't knock the whole thing over. Supposed to soften it up and make it fit better, like paint it on. Do it enough times. Done it a bunch of times. 
Sometimes it's really good. Sometimes it sucks. I'm talking about my job, not the stuff. Sometimes I do good. Sometimes I suck. Let's put this on. Let it dry. There's one. Hopefully that's able to be seen. That looks freaking awesome, dude. I can dig it. I can dig it, my man. Oh shit, I'm gonna knock that thing over if I keep doing this stupid shit. Watch it. Ah, if I knock that over, I'll be so angry. Don't do it. Stupid. Don't be stupid. I put the lid on that song down right now. Okay. That one, big chunky chunks out of the shield, looking awesome. All right, um, I'm just gonna keep putting that stuff on there and flattening that out. So when I'm all done doing, I'm kind of dirty. I still got gold all over my arm. Yeah, I don't take showers or change my clothes for two days when I'm off because I'm a dirty pig. Sometimes I do. I didn't this time. Don't tell me to. Okay. Um, I'll be back when it's time to put the wash on. Or whatever I do next. Alright. Uh, I just decided to finish off the shields. And stick them on the dudes. Because it's a lot of work to do on camera. Going back and forth. I mean I was almost there anyway. All I had to do was a few highlights on the shields I think. Put some varnish on them. And then I stuck them on the dudes. That's where we're at now, and I'm going to stick them on this little base here. Super glue them on there real quick, and that'll be pretty much it. I'm just going to end it there, and then I'll do a basing video after that. But that'll be a whole nother, this will be the end of this one. So we'll get this done here. Get it on here real quick. There. Yeah, not really. Little globule. Get him on here. Try and get him straight as possible. That's good enough. Okay, let this sit for a second. Let's slap some mud on there in the basing video. There's not a whole lot of base there. <laughs> the tiny little base I use. It's the one that came with them. The weird one is that little knobs on the bottom. Can't really show them right now. They'll fall off probably. But anyway, this is what we're working with. Not the best thing I've ever painted in my life. Not the worst either. I am not a pro. These would have been different if I'd have just used some of the set and it's on my other paints. Better or worse, maybe. Better, maybe worse. Who knows? I like these paints, they're freaking awesome. I just want to use them with my other paints. I'm used to and see what I come up with next with that. But for now, I'm just gonna let these guys dry on here. And then I'm gonna start a basing video. Uh, much else to say, really. Um, who is that? I need to get the crap out of here. Hey. 
varnish reacting with super glue or something. That's not no big deal, I don't think. You'll see back there anyway. That's the thing about super glue when you put shields on with these super glue. It seems to react with the paint and everything else. Does anybody else have that happen? I can't find the glue. It doesn't react with paint. It might turn the arm white or something. I try to put varnish around it. Sometimes that works. It doesn't like a creeping white color that goes up the arm sometimes. And you either gotta repaint it or whatever. I've had that happen. Um but yeah, I mean, if anybody knows a glue that doesn't react to paint weird, that would be awesome. Sometimes I use the plastic glue, but it does weird shit too. It like makes the glue turn to water and like run sometimes. So can't find a perfect way to glue these on unless you do it right from the beginning. I don't want to do that because that would be impossible, especially with a guy like this. I mean, it's right on his body. I couldn't paint underneath that. No way. I mean, I guess just leave it not painted, but that would be stupid. Anyway, I'm babbling now. This is the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Be nice. I do suck. I know. I'm not very good. These didn't turn out perfect for sure. I think they're pretty good. They're decent. I think the wash is maybe a little too much I put on there. They're gritty, dirty soldiers. That's all right. We'll carry on. Keep on pushing on. But I do like these new Fanatic paints. That's it for now from Dweller Studios. See you next time.